right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushan, Bahashim, Kabadash, Bagadam. Then we're honest to the apostles and the elders, the great millstones as well. And a salute and a shalom to all the occupants that are out there laboring and pushing this truth in all sincerity and in truth. All right. Um, let's see. This lesson is going to be titled The Two Thirds Will Not Escape. Okay. The two thirds will not escape. Let's get let's get Deuteronomy thirty-two. Thirty-two and thirty-nine. It says See now that I swear like it says, see now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Okay? So, Yahweh, he's letting you know, Jay, that he kills, he makes alive, he wounds, and he heals. Okay? Yahweh does that. Okay? Let's get Isaiah. Uh, first, let's get, uh, I believe it's, let's see real quick. Well, yeah, this is, let's get 1 Samuel 2. It's like 1 Samuel 2. First Samuel 2 and 6. It says, Yahweh killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. Okay? So once again, Yahweh kills and he makes alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. Who raised Hamashiach Yahweh from the dead? Yahweh did. Isaiah 45. Says, uh, let's get this. Um, Isaiah 45 and 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, Yahweh, do all these things. Okay, so the one that's that's bringing, uh, uh, um, that's that's bringing um, uh, all of this, all of this pestilence, this judgment, and all of that. That's Yahweh. Yahweh is doing that, man. Okay? He's bringing his, he's bringing his judgments, man. Okay? And there's a lot more judgments that Yahweh is going to bring, man. Now, let's get Amos real quick. This is um Amos three and six. Amos three and six, it says, 
shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city, and Yahweh hath not done it? Okay, so when someone gets hit by a truck, okay, when someone gets shot, who wanted that to happen? Who allowed that to happen? Yahweh did, okay? Because Yahweh created spirits, kind of, kind of, because there are spirits that Yahweh created just for vengeance. Okay, let's get, let's get this. Book of Jeremiah, chapter 15. Okay, let's start up. I'll start at one. Jeremiah 15 and one. Says, then said Yahweh unto me, unto who? Unto Jeremiah. Though Moses and Samuel stood before me, yet my mind cannot be towards this people. Why? Because Jake was being wicked. Cast them out of my sight and let them go forth. And it shall come to pass. If they shall say unto thee, Whither shall we go forth? Then thou shalt tell them, Thus saith Yahweh, Such as for death to death, And such as for the sword to the sword, And such as for the famine to the famine, Such as for the captivity to the captivity. And I will appoint over them four kinds. Four kinds of what? Four kinds of judgments. Four kinds of deaths, all right? It says, kind, and I was kind, and now it says, and I will appoint over them four kinds, said Yahweh, the sword to slay, the dogs to tear, and the fowls of the, of the heaven, and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy. Okay? So, Jake, the two thirds of it. All right, the two thirds of Israel, Yahweh Bashamel Shah has has different ways to take you out. Okay, Yahweh has all right. Yahweh Bashamel Shah has several several thousands of ways to destroy you. Okay, because Jake, you will. See how creative Yahweh Bashem Yahushai is, man, with his judgments, man. You're going to see that. Okay? Let's get that. Get this here, right? This is, uh... This is uh, the book of Sirach, chapter 39, verse 28. It says, There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes in the time of their destruction. So like it says, In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Fire and hell and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents, and the sword, punishing the wicked to destroy. The two-thirds of Israel, they are also the wicked. Okay? So, they will, so, all right, so, all right, so some will die by the, by the uh, sword, right? Some will die by the famine. Okay. 
So, Jay, the two-thirds, they ain't going to make it, man. They ain't going to make it. Not on the first go-round, man. They ain't going to make it, man. Okay? Because, and plus, this is only for the elect anyway. This is only for the elect of the nation of Israel anyway, man. Zechariah 13 and 8 to 9. It says, And it shall come to pass that in all <coughs> that in all the land. <coughs> oh, hold on. Hold on real quick. Uh, this frankincense risen. Ah. Uh, that okay kind of says this is Zechariah 13 and 8 it says and this shall come to pass that in all the land saith Yahweh two parts two parts therein shall be cut off and die but the third kind of says but the third shall be left therein right so two thirds will be cut off and they will die okay why it well because they are the undesirables, man. Right? All right, man. Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah, don't want them to make it on the first go round. Now, will all of Israel be in the kingdom? Yes. Let me prove that. This is the book of Romans. I started, yeah, oh, yeah Romans chapter, chapter 11. I'll start at 1 and jump down. It says, uh, Romans 11 and 1 it says I say then hath Yahweh cast away his people Yahweh forbid for I for I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Benjamin right so the so the Israelites are still here okay it says this verse 26 and so all Israel shall be saved as it is written Written where? In Isaiah 45 and 17. It says, There shall come out of Zion the deliverer. And who is that? Who is the deliverer that will come out of Zion? Yahweh Shai. It says, And shall turn ungodliness. It's like it says, And shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. All right? Now, let's get Isaiah 45 17. Isaiah 45, 17. It says, But Israel shall be saved in Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded, world without end. Okay? So, of course, all of Israel will be in the kingdom, but the ones that's making it, on this, on this, on this first go round, is the elect of the nation of Israel. Let me get that. Um, Zechariah 13 and 8. Um, Thirteen and uh, nine. It says, "And I will bring the bring the third part through the fire, right, the one third, and will and con con and will refine them as silver con as silver is refined, and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say it is my people, and they shall say." Yahweh is my power. So who's making it, man? Only the elect and the one-third are making it. 
okay? Let's get let's get Revelation real quick. Revelation um seven. Revelation seven. It says let's yeah, here it is, okay. Revelation 7 and 1, it says, And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding back the four winds, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor the sea, nor the trees, right? So there are angels that are holding back the destruction, okay? Why? Because it's not time for the destruction yet. It says this, And I saw another angel having slightly and I saw a, another angel from the east ascending slightly and I saw a, another angel ascending from the east having the seal of the living power and he cried with a loud voice saying to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea saying hurt not the earth neither the sea nor the trees till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads. And I heard the number of them which, which were sealed. And there were sealed in hundred and forty and four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. Okay? So, twelve thousand. Right? So, twelve thousand uh, Judites, twelve thousand Reubenites, 12,000 Levites, 12,000 Issacharites, 12,000 Zebulun, 12,000 Zebulunites, 12,000 Benjamites, 12,000 of the tribe of Joseph, that's Ephraim, okay? 12,000 of the tribe of, uh, of, uh, of uh, uh, Manassas, um, Naphtali, Reuben, Gad, right? So, yeah, uh, 12,000 of the tribe of, uh, of Simeon, okay? So 12,000 men out of all those tribes will be sealed and delivered, right? Now, the one-third or the, uh, uh, or the helps, right, and the families of the elect men, Right, it's, it's such as uh, uh, their uh, their wife, right? Uh, con, uh, such as their their uh, their wife and the con, uh, their wife and their children. Yes, there are sisters that are of the elect, that are of the one third. Okay, now are they a part of the hundred and forty four thousand? No, they're not. Okay, because the only ones that's a part of the hundred and forty and four thousand are the men. Are the men? Because because it says what in uh, Ezekiel, it says uh, um, uh, my pasture or of men. Okay. Now, but the one third. Yes, women are of the one third. Yes, women are of the elect. But they're not of the 144,000. Okay? They're not. Only the men. Now, let's get this. Because, Jake, this is what you're going to go through, man. This is what you're going to go through since. You don't want to repent. You don't want to take heed. Cool. That's what's up. Well, here it is. It says, uh, this is uh, Amos 5 and 18. Woe unto you that desire the day of Yahweh. To what end is it for you? The day of Yahweh is darkness and not light. As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him. Or went into the house and leaned in it, and leaned his hand on the wall, 
and the serpent bit him. Now, that means what? There's no escaping, Jay. There's no escaping the judgment of Yahweh Basham al So the two-thirds won't escape, man. The two-thirds, they won't escape. They can't escape. Okay? All right? Because, all right, so there will be danger at every turn. Okay? What's that? Uh... Mm. Just had it. What is it? Here it is. This is Second Peter. No, it's locked in. First Peter. Don't trip it. All right. First Peter four and seventeen. It says this. It says. For, for the time has come, the judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh. If it first begin at it, Khan, it says, and if it first begin at us, what shall be the end of them that obey not the gospel? Right? So judgment will begin at the house of Israel first. Right? The ones that know that they are Israelites. That's why you must watch what you say. You must watch what you do. Okay. You must not be rebellious. You got to be humble. Okay? That's why it says in Proverbs Proverbs 1 and Proverbs 1 and uh, okay, Proverbs 1 and 24 it says no 23 it says turn you at my reproof behold I will pour my kind of says I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make my no clock. I will make known my words unto you. How is Yahweh pouring his spirit out unto you, Jay? How is he um, making his words known known unto you, man? By the prophets, man. By the prophets. Okay. It says. Says, but ye have said it not on my counsel and were none of my reproof. I also will laugh in, at your calamity, I will mock when your fear cometh. Okay, so alright, so Jake, since you had said it not, the counsel of Yahweh Bash of of Yahweh by kind of Yahweh by you basically rejected it, man. You rejected it. Why? Because you want to stay a nigga. Okay? You want to continue to to uh to uh to um right you want to continue to be wicked, man. Right? You don't want to listen. You're a stiff neck, you're hard headed, man. That's why when words don't teach, adversity will. Right? It says they kind of says, uh, kind of says, when your fear cometh as desolation, when your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress, kind of, which says, when distress and, and anguish cometh upon you. Jay, so distress and anguish will come upon you, man. Okay? And you won't, man, you won't be Delivered from it, man. Okay. That's why this this uh this lesson is going to be titled "The Two Thirds Won't Escape." 
says, for that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of Yahweh Bashamel Shah. So Jay, you hated knowledge, you refused to repent, you want to continue to be a nigga, but guess what, man? When that happens, You did not choose the fear of Yahweh, of Yahweh, and and kind of Yahweh and Yahweh shot. Your judgment lingers. Your judgment lingers, man. Okay, like I like I said, man. Yahweh or Yahweh shot will get creative with the judgment that He's going to bring on the two pillars of Israel. Okay, very creative, man. Very creative. Okay, cause Jake. Yahweh, where Yahweh shine. All right, come. All right, Jake. Yahweh, he's going to show you through his son, Yahweh Shah, why they refer to Yahweh as Allah Shadia. Okay? Demon like power. Okay? Sh uh, 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 um, uh, Shadia means demon, right? And Allah, power, right? Allah Shadia, demon like power. You people are going to see that, man. You Israelites, the two thirds of Israel, you all will see that, man. You all will see that Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah is not to be played with, man. It's not to be played with, man. He's not, not, man. So you won't escape, man. Jake, you, uh, the two thirds of Jake won't escape. They won't escape, man. Okay, and they will get everything that they deserve, man. But you all will come back in the kingdom, though. Anyway, all right. So, Jake, the warning has gone out. Khan says, what, uh, through the, Khan says, through, Khan says, through the, so like it says, through the fear of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah, we persuade men. So, Jake, we are, so, Jake, we are persuading you and convicting you to repent, man. Okay, so, Jake, if you want to be delivered, man, then you gotta repent, repent, man, and come back to, and come back to Yahweh, and come back to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua. You don't have a choice, but to, but to do that, man. What's the big deal, man? What's the big deal, Jake? Repentance leads to life, life, man. But being a nigga leads to death. Okay, so with that, I say Shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Kabbadash, Bakatam, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, they will rule well, and a, uh, and a salute and a Shalom to all the Akim that are out here laboring and pushing the truth with all sincerity and the truth. And with that, I say Shalom.